Jack! 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 Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat, because we got to speak. Let me holla at you. First Lady Flames versus Jack Boy Maine. You know, uh, you know, hop in the bins. I got the chance to watch it again. Um, I definitely got to watch this battle again. They got apps for that. They got boot, whatever the case may be. Um, overall, I will say the event in general was just all right. Nothing crazy. I'm not recapping all of these battles. It's a battle of two that I will speak about, and I will speak about what I thought, how it went, who got the win. We did a live stream yesterday, me and Showtime SP, salute to the nobody that knows bodies. Um, it's about an hour and a half long, but I figured like there's a couple of people and a couple of battles that should be talked about specifically, and most notably is this. So, First Lady Flames has been battling for a little minute. Like, her and Jack been, you know what I'm saying, kicking it on and off, rocking with each other, supporting each other for a while. Jack Boy Main's career took off. Went down, went up, went up, like it's up again. He's definitely back in his bag. And there's been one person who I can say consistently I've seen in Jack Boyd Main's corner from day one. And it has always been First Lady Flame. So I've said this on this channel before, and Jack Boyd Main knows this. I know Jack Boyd Main from the streets. Like, I don't know him from battle rap. Like, when I first met Jack and I first got put on a Jack, it was off some street shit. Like, he was about to throw his career away. I'm not going to get into the specifics of it, but he knows it. He said this story before, and I've said it before, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, to see where he's going now and what he's doing with his career is amazing. But this is more so about First Lady Flames. Getting an opportunity on a big stage to do big work in the first battle of the night was amazing. Like, she literally, I watched it again today, bro, the material that she had was crazy. This is not a 2-1, this is a 3-0, but for Jack, he was smart. You sacrifice the battle, basically you let your girl win, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you arm wrestling a girl, you're not gonna slam my hand through the table, you know what I'm saying? It's your wife, you wanna see her win. So a win for her is a win for the household. So fellas, this is how the dynamic works, you know what I'm saying? Especially all the niggas out there who got wives, who got girls, who got people that he really committed to is gonna feel the thing that I'm spitting, you know what I'm saying? He basically performed, like he wasn't bad. Like if you watch his battle again, and you watch the material, the Michael Jackson bar was fired, the break skate, and then he had the other, like, he had some material in there. I'm not going to hold you. But it was just like, First Lady Flames was good in every round. Yo, her material was so fire. At the end of the first round, Jack Boy Main says a big crit line, what's a king without a crown? She rebuttaled it so good, it was like, man, nah, hell no. She knew that prior to going in there. I'm not going to put that on her, but she rebuttaled this shit so well. What's a king without a crown? A dead one. Like, without Jack and these, without me letting Jack and these, it wouldn't be no Jack. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. And then the shit that she had at the end of her third round, oh, my God. Fuck you for every argument I didn't want to start. Fuck you for leaving ashes all in the car. Fuck you for smoking all the clips I put in the jar. What? Bruh, she was on 10 the whole night. I can understand where niggas will be like, yo, they don't, they wasn't fucking with uh, the event in general or they feel like it was lackluster or they gave it a five out of two. Whatever niggas wanted to do, that's fine. I'm not tripping off of that. But Jack, I'm, you ain't gonna fool me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you will not get the opportunity to fool me by giving her the back. I felt like that. You know what I'm saying? I, you did enough to get through it. And I ain't gonna hold you. When I first watched it, I was my stream clipped like a little bit. And I said, man, let me go back and watch it again. Just make sure I ain't miss nothing. And then when I say it was a strategic moment to be competitive, it was a strategic opportunity to be competitive while helping, not helping, but get, giving her a chance to shine, and I like that. And the reason why I say that is because First Lady Flame's been good for a very long fucking time. And to see her finally get that one shining moment, that opportunity that don't come across for everybody, 
to shine on the biggest level and to be able to like really, really bring it. Nah, 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 bro. She had to get, you had to get this blog, Flames. You had to because you, what you did versus Jack was like, Unreal my nigga and I don't even know like when you was writing this shit. Did you really pay attention to the things you were saying? Let me go to okay Jack first round like I said he had the Michael Jackson ask who's bad then split the skate He had the uh, the Queen Elizabeth you the, the Eliza bar He had the savage the Fenty joint. He had the flames the trinket He had the but the baby 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 till death do us part. I could make it happen Jack that material was fucking crazy in your first. But Flames was wildin' on you. Single black mother on Christmas, I make a lot happen. When I heard that, it was ready to go. I already had it ready. When I heard the single black mother on Christmas, I make a lot happen, yo, I swear to everything I love, my nigga. I got a Twitter with 32,000 some odd followers, right? Y'all can check my Twitter. I tweeted when he decided to go first. I said, yo, I don't know if this is a good idea. I said, because Flames is so nice that I, but, but, but again, the Mr. and Mrs. Smith shit. He was sacrificing. Jack was sacrificing because he was like, yo, if I've been to the bottom before, I've been to the bottom versus John John. I've been to the bottom in my career. I've been counted out. I can always bounce back. A win for her is a win for the house. I'm not knocking that. So she said, you'll be the fastest king we know, De'Aaron Fox. That was fire. That she had a black wealth line. The only black wealth that matters in my bank account. Crazy. Uh, then she had the, uh, the morphine die in vain. Crazy. Uh, the volume don't add a thing. Trip to these substance ain't the same. The K2, the substances ain't the same. This shit was crazy. Uh, the king without a crown, I told y'all about that. A dead one, James Brown, you here to get down. That was crazy. Uh, the stick hitting, get the switch. I like that joint. The nail shop every two weeks. A different grip, a different grip. Y'all niggas, the same ones I told y'all. You see a girl fucking nail shop every other two weeks. It's a different grip. Shit was crazy. Um, she had the, uh, the, the fucking, oh, I'm destroying everything near Jack. It's giving bitter bitch. It's giving bitter bitch. First lady, when you start, I'm not even gonna ask you when you start rapping like that, because I know when you start rapping like that, you've been nice back in the days, you bad fucking Jay and all these other niggas. You've been nice, so I'm not even gonna do that with you. Uh, Jack's second round, he had the why you don't ever know what you want to eat. That shit was fire. I felt like Jack should have came like that from the beginning of the fucking battle. The why you don't want to know what you want to eat, that shit was crazy. I'm like, yo, this is the first time we ever get in a husband and wife. That I took, well, not first time, because I think Fetty Battle Shuni, they may have, I don't know. But if they did, I'm talking about on URL. First time, I'm like, yo, my nigga, you should be going with the why you don't want nothing to eat. Then he had the, uh, the I don't want to be at the movies and rub your butt. I put a bullet through your front, they go your bunch of crunch. Then he had to put your hands where your eyes can see line. The when you want to go out, to give me my shirt back line that was fire. Uh, the love don't cost a thing, the Nick Cannon joint, the coat over the body chivalry is that you did just enough. To not die, but continue with the mission. The mission is to make sure that wifey gets the win. I'm fucking with this, Jack. I'm still here. Let's keep going. I'm going to keep it going. So second round flame, she goes out and goes crazy. You got the nerve to leave the laundry in my kitchen, leave the seat up, or leave it pissy. That was wild. She started wild. And then she starts taking angles about a man. Um, she starts going in. Uh, so <laughs> she said, uh, she said, your mom was telling you to you was out before the street lights. Well, you can't decide which lights to leave when you leave back in the house. That was fire. Uh, can hear it now why you ain't take the trash out. Fire. Then she had to clap you in a coma. She said, I was the one turning tears to motivation to clap you out of one. Nigga, she was fucking wild. I told y'all before the battle even happened that she knew that's personal shit. And then she had the Jack and knees, the Jack and knees line that was crazy. The quicker than Kegel, how the ratchet squeeze. If you leave without a soul, it's guaranteed. She was up 2-0. They was ready to chant 2-0, 3-0 chance throughout all of this. Trust me, Jack is getting walked down. But this is not a bad walk down because, like I said, happy wife, happy life. I'm not mad at you. Third round, Flames comes, um, Jack comes in to put Flames out. You got to be an airbender. I like that line. The airbender shit was tight. Uh, the airbender line was tight. Uh, he said uh, the, 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 the fucking, the TikTok dancers is JC. Knew he could walk on water. Now he could do flames too. I liked it. 
Uh, if the flame came from under the muzzle, who beamed me up? Scotty, Jesus on the main line was fired. The 23 and 1. I went from 23 and 1s to a relationship. Niggas felt that. Especially niggas that been to jail and shit, they felt that. Um, flames third round, though, my nigga. Oh, man. She was wild. And Terrence Howard, I could stretch main out however I want. Pro choice, dead baby. I wasn't ready. Crazy. Uh, the 21s, the Cat Stacks line was fire. Uh, the Game of Thrones shit was crazy. The Rodman back on my bullshit hurt a lot of that, but that was cool. The ringing endorsement, fuck you and everyone that took the lie too far. Fuck you for leaving guts and ashes all over the car. Fuck you for all the clips, smoking all the clips I saved in the jar. And fuck you for every argument I wasn't trying to start. Oh, man. Man, man, man. I ain't gonna hold you, my nigga. That shit got a little crazy. That shit got a little crazy. I've got... First Lady Flames winning 3-0, but it was a sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? Jack had to kind of like, you know, he walked so she could run type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand why you did what you did. And I'm not going, I'm not going to mail this out to you because if I mail it, it goes to the same house, you know what I'm saying? The same bed, the same couch with flame. You couldn't put flame out. So I'm going to just say that uh, it was a smart decision. To do what you did, Flames 30, gone.